But for now, problems at the Fulton County Jail are front and center as voters are thinking about who they want as their next sheriff. Yeah, they sure are. Candidates were questioned tonight in southeast Atlanta. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer is live from the Fulton County Jail. Bridget, the jail was a hot topic tonight, as it always is. That's right. The jail was front and center because it certainly has been in the news lately, it's been plagued with a lot of controversy tonight. People got to sit down and really listen to what these candidates had to say and what they're all about. It was a packed house at the Ali Event Center in southeast Atlanta. Five people vying for the Fulton County Sheriff's seat, including incumbent Patrick Labatt. So we have to change the culture. It was a town hall Q&A style forum where the audience got to ask questions as well as the moderator. A big topic, deaths inside the Fulton County Jail. You know, you said one death is too many, but at a certain point, it's also too many for us to trust the leadership that might be in there. This is a decade upon decade long issue. There's 60 people that have perished, that have, have, have died inside, and you know this, inside Fulton County in the last 20 years. The four others challenging Labatt sounded off on the issue, acknowledging staffing problems. For competent staff, you've got to have people who are so, well trained. So make sure that the deputies do 30 minute rounds and hold the supervisors accountable. You have to have staff hired and you have to ensure that they're properly trained and you need those levels of management in place. Joyce Farmer says solving many problems begins with how you treat staff. If you treat staff right, understand their needs, they will come to work and we wouldn't be short staff. They were also asked what they would do in their first 90 days to stop overcrowding. I will meet with the police agencies to see if they cannot bring additional arrestees to the jail to slow that process down. Fulton County citizens also got to hear why the candidates got into public service in the first place. I didn't choose that career in effort just to lock up people. I just figured once I crossed their path, maybe I can give them a different direction. Kenya Brooks was one of the citizens in the crowd and she says she used to work at the jail. Conditions are still as deplorable as they were 10 years ago. At the end of the night, she was still not totally sold on one candidate. These are good people, but I don't think all of them are qualified. Now, there were other people at the forum today who felt the same way that Kenya Brooks felt. They're not really sold on one particular candidate. They still want to do some more research. We will see how voters feel come Election Day next month. We're live from the Fulton County Jail. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.